Most of us might be feeling a little off this morning thanks to the time change. It's kind of counterintuitive because <laughs> we get more sleep, but we can still feel a little bit groggy. Yeah, counterintuitive, right? Uh, isn't the state necessarily you want to be in driving to work? feeling a little groggy <laughs> with that sun glare. I want to bring in traffic expert Jason Luber because the time change actually increases the chances of an accident. Yeah, more so in the spring because of the spring forward, but today and over the next couple of weeks as well, drowsy driving is really super dangerous. It's really about disrupting our sleep patterns and AAA says one in five fatal crashes are blamed on drowsy driving and after driving to work in the dark over the last, oh well, early in the morning, suddenly many people are now driving into the sun right now and some Sun glare is a problem earlier in the morning, and while the fall time change is not as bad as the spring time change, it is still a problem. This actually causes an increase in drowsy driving, despite the fact that we're gaining an hour. Here's why. That Sunday, that Monday after the time change, we lie to ourselves. We don't actually get an extra hour of sleep. We go to bed later. But fundamentally, for a period of about two weeks afterward, we see crashes increase because our bodies are adjusting to our new rhythm, and that leads to less sleep. I always typically change my clocks a day earlier on Friday night, so I think it helps out a little bit. But here are a few things you can do when it comes, especially with dealing with the sun glare. Make sure that you have your sunglasses this morning earlier than you might have thought you needed them. Keep your windshield inside and outside clean, as well as your headlights, and increase your following distance. Don't get distracted, of course, with your phone. Of course you change your clocks Friday <laughs> night. Yes. Prepared. Mine yeah. might be changed on my microwave, I don't know, in three months <laughs> when a friend does it because they're sick of seeing the wrong time. I'm glad our phones do it for us. Yeah, yeah, that's right. nice. Okay. <laughs> health experts have raised concerns about how the change impacts our overall health. In 2020, the American Academy of Sleep Medicine said the U.S. should eliminate daylight saving time in favor of a year-round standard time. Standard time is what we currently use in the winter and spring. Colorado lawmakers have discussed opting out of the time change several times. There was even talk of letting voters decide, but the bill has never been passed out of the legislature. The ski industry was one group that spoke out against it. That's because the sun would rise as late as 830 in the mm. morning some days. It would also be tough if it were just Colorado and not the rest of the country. How confusing would that be? Right, right. Already confused. You're right. You know what it's hard for me is the one on, in the car. That one never gets changed. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah.